I am Rob Zip and today is April 11th, 2023 and I am here in Baltimore, Maryland to see the Orioles take on the athletics. So come along and join me on this episode of the most epic adventures. That's the train I just got off of. Came here from the airport. Uh, I would not recommend doing that, honestly. Uh, not sure where I'm going in. I'm going to try to go in over here. Yeah, yeah, we have some people screaming. Yeah, that was kind of my experience on the train. But nice entry. I bought my ticket on game time. I have a pretty good seat. I may end up moving. We'll see. I did not pay a lot. If you want to use game time, you follow my link in the description. They are not a sponsor, but uh, we each get five bucks if you use my link. So I appreciate that. Just walking in. These are the Mark trains. Maryland Department of Transportation. I don't know where these go. But look at the trash can. That's a cute trash can. Now here's the Utah Street. Is that how you pronounce it, baby? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, entrance. I'm not sure if I can actually go in here. I don't know. Some stadiums are weird about where you go in. But I'm going to try to show you guys the whole stadium. As much as I can, anyway. This is security. I got a free shirt. I was actually one of the first 10,000 in. Welcome to the show. Their new, uh, their new pitcher. What's his name? Yeah. Okay. And here we are. We're in the game. We're in the stadium, y'all. Here are their pennants right here. Adorable. They are a rebuilding franchise. They are currently five and five and the uh, athletics are two and eight. It's early days of the MLB season. So that doesn't really mean a whole lot right now. But this is, look at all this orange and black. It's like Halloween in here. I, I kind of like it, I kind of like it. It's the, the Maryland Athletic Hall of Fame right here. So not just Orioles. It's got a bar and restaurant. I guess you can, I guess you can bet in there maybe? It's called Superbook. But here we are. It's a nice day. I brought my hoodie. I brought a hoodie with me just in case. It gets a little chilly. But yeah, we're hashtag walking. Look at this. I got this for free. Today is actually my first Orioles game. So that is not incorrect. Very nice. You just ask. You never know what you get. You got uh, Books Barbecue. I don't know about barbecue. It's 20. Ooh, that's expensive. I don't know about barbecue in Maryland. I don't know about that, y'all. What do you think? Does Maryland have good barbecue? People are lining up for it. So, so gas them up. Welcome to the show. Oh, that's the shirt. That's the shirt. I didn't see the other side of the shirt. But uh, this, this shirt is a size extra large that is a little bit smaller than I wear. So I may do a giveaway. Just keep watching to the end to see if I actually give it away if you want it. All right, I am in the team store. I, uh, you know, collect stickers and pens, but for, for baseball, I'm just gonna be getting uh, pins that they have on here. Preferably one for the stadium. Those hats are pretty cool. I do like this logo. I like their other logos too. But don't need a shirt. Some teams have their players. I don't know any of the players. Got men shirts. Gold chains. What's their mascot? What's the mascot's name? Let me know in the comments. What is the mascot's name? Well, I'm gonna try to look at another store. Um, I wanted to get a pen, but the only one with the stadium on is a season ticket holder, and I'm not a season ticket holder. Switch, right? All right, this is another entrance here. This is like the general uh, standing room only outfield area. 
Tickets for this section are actually sold out for today. Got a nice, nice park. Got an Oakland fan right there. So I am gonna be cheering for the home team today. Um, one, because I'm here, I am here in Baltimore. And two, Grayson Rodriguez is the, the new stud pitcher. So I'm excited to see him. And uh, three, the athletics are in the same uh, division as the Astros. And I want the athletics to lose every single game. So here we go. And we got, look at these legends, Orioles, legends. Right here in the outfield. That was a home run celebration. Did you see our new home run celebration this year in the dugout? It's a beer ball. I'm going to have their names because you should know who they are. This is Eddie Murphy. That was, uh, I think that was Brooks Robinson behind me. This is Eddie, Mur Eddie, Eddie Murray. Frank Robinson right here. See the back of his jersey that gives it away. That might be Cal Ripken Sr. or Earl Weaver. I don't know. Maybe that's Earl Weaver. I don't really know. They don't, why don't they have their names? That's weird. Oh no. Palmer. Uh, yeah, what's his face? What was his first name? I can't remember his name. But yeah, legends. Cal Ripken Jr., can't forget him. The best, best Oreo. So sections one through 88. Here we go. I like the cool old vintage signs around the stadium here. So I am definitely in sections one through 88. And the lines over here for food are a little bit shorter. What should I, should I get a hot dog? Potato chips? Cracker Jacks? What should I get? This has the longest line over on this side. They have a crab cake sandwich. Jimmy's famous seafood. I can smell it, I can smell the crab. Crabby fries, fried shrimp. They just played the uh, national anthem. I guess I gotta get to my seat before our first pitch. Still got, I got seven minutes to first pitch. But we've got lots of food options here. I am hungry. Basically had snacks. Got a Camden Smash Burger. Hoffman's Jumbo Frank. I might go for that burger, man. That burger smells good too. They're smashing them. They're smashing them good. Here I am, I'm in my seat before first pitch. Section 62, row 11, seat number 13. I paid $28 for this ticket. I paid less than that. I paid more than that for a spring training Astros game. This is awesome. You see how close I am to the field. I'm not zoomed in. I'm on the uh, the left field side behind third base. Home plates down there. It's a decent crowd. I may move around a little bit. We'll see. But this is a pretty good seat. Try to give you a panoramic shot here while some copywritten music is being played in the background. Hopefully my talking kind of covers it up a little bit. Oh, and there's my hands. These people behind me, they probably don't want to be in my video, but that's okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful night here in Baltimore. Right, the Orioles are taking the field. All right. Sorry, I got this lady's head in the way, but first pitch. Tony Kim, former Astro. First at bat for the Athletics. First pitch is a, what is that? 98 miles per hour. Was it a strike? Where's the strike? Pitch and strike. There was a ball. There was a ball. And that was also a ball. So, let's see his reaction here. This is as zoomed in as we can get. That's a strike. Um, I sacrifice. 
Jack Hart's fly the Baltimore Orioles. Tie it up one to one. Yes, Oakland scored. And the first inning, now Baltimore tied it back up at the bottom of the first. Here we go. All right, to end the first inning, I am going to stay until the very end of this game, regardless of what the score is, what happens. But it's all the first inning. I need, I need food. I need food. This is what I ordered. Yikes. I said this is the way to go. Crab cake egg rolls, y'all. What? All right, the first move of the night. This is gonna be the last move, probably not. I moved up a little bit higher in the section. I've got a little bit more wiggle room. Don't have people's heads right, <laughs> right in my shot. So here we are. It's the uh, bottom of the second inning. It's still one to one. There are uh, no outs. The Orioles are uh, trying to go ahead. Let's see if they do. Here we got the uh, double chin can, double chin cam, crab cake. Egg rolls, that's gonna be an out at first. All right, crab cake, egg rolls. I don't think I love crab. Um, I think I got some shell in there too. I don't know, man. Crab is a big deal here. It's not bad. Oh. Nope, that's the end of the inning. Nope, no, nope, no, that's the second out. Anyway. I guess when in Baltimore, right? Young Grayson Rodriguez is in a little pickle. He's got batters on the corner. Will the uh, athletics strike again? We'll see. Ball dropped in, runner scores, A's go up, two to one. This is vendor number 69. That's pretty nice. With another strikeout, he gets out of it, uh, giving up two runs uh, in total. All right, I'm taking another hashtag walk. Oh, there's a play happening. Let's go into this team store, see if we can find a pen. I like this shirt though. Look at that with the hot dogs. Do they have a hot dog race here? I saw this at the other store, the Tiki. This is a much smaller store, very quiet. I don't see any pins in here. These are the little pins there, the retired numbers. Again, not what I'm looking for. Their banners, it looks like they have a uh, Hall of Fame back here. We got a guy on third, just stole third base. How about that? series, the 40th anniversary of the last world championship for the Orioles. This is a, a display for that. 1983. My favorite team won the championship this past season. Gotta take what you can take. So now we're behind home, home plate. Got all the retired names right here. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm still on a hunt for a pin. I have this button that might have to suffice, but I mean, this is a really nice stadium, y'all. I'm glad I'm here. The Orioles, we got runners in first and third. up front I mean what else can you ask for with the lights with the dangled lights and the pennants hanging from the ceiling and the banners and the pennants you got everything everything right here and then you got the the kids corner right here fun for the kids those uh, crab cake egg rolls they did not do it Look in this team store. I couldn't find what I was looking for, so I, I went on eBay and I found what I was looking for. I paid about the same and it's gonna come straight to my house. So, if you don't sell what I'm looking for, eBay is always a good a good shot. Got Chicken Shack, Frank's, and then this is back over where we came in. 
over here. This is where we entered. So pretty much showed you the whole thing. Let's go up to the upper concourse. You guys want to see that? Oh wait, we didn't see this over here. Yeah, okay, let's show you this. We got some big bobbleheads here. This is a Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A sponsored bobblehead. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's see this one here. It's got this guy. Does his head bobble too? He says no. <laughs> Giant bobbleheads. <laughs> so fun. And the, the Chick-fil-A cows still turning. These guys don't turn as easy. There's the kid corner, the upper levels. We're not gonna go into the upper levels today. Look at this one. <laughs> all right, so I kind of went backwards, but these are all the birds of the Orioles. And here we go. This tells you the history. I like the 1968 to 70, the cuckoo bird. That one looks angry. The evolution of the bird. Now they got the baby bird. <laughs> I got some frozen custard. It's uh, Orioles orange and vanilla swirl. Very nice. So we're here in the bottom of the fourth. It's tied two to two. Orioles are back at bat. It's the bottom of the fourth. I moved over another section, like getting a little closer to home plate. This section has actually has padded seats. What? What? So I may stay here. There's I still have plenty of wiggle room. I've got my uh, frozen custard. Let's see. I don't know if it was the <laughs> I like this a lot better than the crab cake egg rolls. This is very delicious. <laughs> uh, Grayson's coming out in the top of the fifth. He's got uh, one out. So with four and a third inning. How many strikes out? I don't know how many strikes that's got, but he got a nice ovation from the crowd. Good game. I think he has at least six strikeouts. Walk around the bases, Langeliers. With the moon shot to left field, bringing in, what, three runs. A's are now up seven to three after that one. The crowd is not too happy. They take out uh, the new kid and they bring in reliever, and this guy is giving up bombs. Woof. <sighs> Voth just keeps giving up hits, uh, and the crowd's not liking it. They are not uh, booing the athletics. They are booing their own pitcher. Take him out. Take him out. This guy is no good. Voth. Ugh. We're just going to have a little talk with him. He struck him out. and they, He's getting a sarcastic cheer and some boos. Yikes. A's are up. 7-3. to three. Going to the bottom of the... Uh, I don't even know, bottom of the fifth. So it's the hot dog races, but the hot dogs are not real hot dogs. They're virtual hot dogs. Come on, Mustard. Mustard, you're, you gotta win. Come on, Mustard. Yeah, Mustard is a winner. Circle the bases, young man. Welcome. That is a Honda home run. I love that. 
All right, it's a bit. Now we've got a ball game here. Three run home runs. Now they're, uh, they're only down by a run. Seven to six. Uh, it's meeting time. Is it time to pull him out? I think it is. And he's gone. That's the ball game for uh, that pitcher. Fuller, I think. His buck is gone. No! The Orioles just tie it. Go around them bases. Touch them all. Double to take the lead. Yes. Let's go. Oh. People, the crowd's into it now. They've gotten the lead. We've got bases loaded here. Baseball is all about right here. Oh, all right. What's what's gonna happen? We got two out. <laughs> He's getting yelled down. <laughs> All right, we, the athletics are down in the final. Right, they did go. score another run, so it is a 12 to 8 in favor of the Orioles. All right, he's down to two strikes. This be it right here. All right, let's try this one more time. This be it. And that's a game! Orioles win 12 to 8. There we go, guys. It is a victory for the home team. This was a great game to come to. I I can't, you know, I'm, I'm really glad I came. Handshakes and high fives for the home team. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. There we go. Fireworks for the winning team. Yeah. All right, Mountcastle. That is your star of the game. All right, some hashtag walking here after the game. After a Baltimore home victory, everyone is happy except for the few A's fans we see over here. What a what a great time, guys! There's some A's fans here, but uh, yeah, not too many A's fans. Everyone's happy, going home happy. All right, I'm gonna do my uh, closing thoughts right here at this gate. I'm glad I was able to come to this game. Got to see Grayson Rodriguez's first home start. Grayson is a native Texan. He is from Nacogdoches, Texas, not Houston. Nacogdoches. This was his first home start. He had a great start. He had, I think, five or six strikeouts in a silver four and one third innings, I think it was official. Um, Ryan Mountcastle was the monster of the game with two home runs. One of them was a grand slam, so he had five RBIs in total. This was a really fun game to come to. This ballpark is beautiful. It's been here for, I think, uh, at least 20 years now, and it looks like it could be new. So they do a great job with this. With this, this is a great place to watch a ball game. So if you're looking to see a major league game and travel somewhere, come see a game in Baltimore. This was really a great experience, guys. Don't get the, I don't like crabs. I, I realize I don't like crabs. 
I learned that today. Um, another interesting thing, the seventh inning stretch, don't expect to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game. They do uh, John Denver's Thank God I'm a Country Boy, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, and that's one of the things that makes it great. So um, do you want this shirt? It's an extra large, so it's too small for me. Uh, I may keep it. I don't know. If you want it, tell me in the comments why you think you deserve it, and I may give it to you. We'll see. But until next time, guys, remember to drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventures. Don't feel safe at night in this town. Okay, guys, thanks for uh, watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. See you next time.